<laughs> that really is one hell of a wall. And you forget sometimes as well, just while you're trying to do the basics to survive, this island was designed to keep people in. So when you see something like this, it makes it all the more intimidating. I kind of don't want to get too close either, just in case there's anything at the bottom of it. Because if it was me, I'd just load this place with mine so nobody can try and climb it. Never really been this close though, I thought I'd take a look. Just doing a little bit of exploring today. Seeing what we can find. There's a few places that I want to visit. I want to show you guys the scale of this wall, by the way. Look at that. Hopefully you guys can really get a sense of just how massive that structure is. Maybe one day we'll get on the other side of it, but today is not that day. Oh, you have got to be joking me. I hope this is a cave. They're everywhere right now. I don't blame them. They're just trying to get some food. They're trying to do what I'm trying to do, which is survive. Really hope nothing's made this cave their home. I think we should be okay here for a couple of minutes. We're loaded. Anything appears on the entrance to this cave and... <laughs> I'm not stopping till that mag's empty. Alright, seems clear. Let's try and make it back to the car. There's one of them. Dove pipe. Where did that wolf go? I need to get this guy off the back of me, and I don't want to get too close to that wall for reasons I was saying before. Spin this around. All right, big guy. A different one. That might be a different one. This might be pretty stupid doing this, but... Of ammunition and he's running it's not gonna go down pretty sure that clipped him too let's go and see what we can find they're actually pretty tough to take down these things as well they're, they're not to be taken lightly as we saw in the last episode because I mean you'd imagine if you fight a couple of rounds that wolves are just scatter as soon as they heard the shots but because they must be absolutely starving and to be honest they don't really have a lot to fear on this island I mean maybe bear don't really think they're going to be worried about the undead there we go he just went down I'd say that's job pretty much done one less of him to worry about deal with this stovepipe that we had let's see all right so we've definitely got a jam in the top 
There we go. So that should be clear now. And how many rounds have we got left? Still got eight. What's that? Red tracksuit top. Again, if I can find clothes, I know I'll be able to trade with stuff like that. So it's worth keeping hold of. Oh, got a little tractor over there. Oh, you know what? I might fix that up. Okay, we're clear. Nice. Unless. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, what have you got for me? Oh, here we go. Expires in 71. That's 71 hours then, right? Oh, I forgot. You guys did mention as well. Oh, this thing. Yeah, it says there this item has expired. All right, let's drop that one then. And we'll pick this one up. So like I was saying to you guys, you can find them all over the place. You just got to keep an eye out for them. So far, they haven't been too hard to find. I mean, that's my second one that I've come across. Two of those things over there. Nothing going to sneak up on us. One. Oh, she moved. Oh, that noise. That noise is so nice. Probably brought everything in the area, but I don't care. It's nice to do it every once in a while. Right, let's see if we can find anything here. I'm also keeping my eyes open for anything I can use for building. Because still quite haven't found an area that I want to call home yet. I think if anything, it was the cabin where we were hunting, but I kind of changed my mind about that spot. Pretty dangerous with the bears being around there. There's plenty of wolves. I'm constantly going to be on edge, and I want something with a little bit more protection, maybe something along the coast. So, I mean, I'll see what we can find, but like I say, if there's anything we can pick up, that's going to help us be able to build up pretty quick. What's this? Magnifying glass? Yeah, no. Wait a second. I think I was looking for one of those. Can't remember what for. I'll just keep hold of it. But yeah, if I can find anything that I can use, then I'll absolutely keep hold of it. Anything up there? Right, let's see how you're doing. Ideally, if this is in decent shape, I might just park this up somewhere where no one else is going to find it. Okay, health isn't bad. Fuel isn't bad. But the battery's crap. And I don't want to be moving this across the entire map. I've got to check out this area. I want to know what's in the center of this. And today, I was going to go through the dam and go into the big city. Today was going to be the day we did that. And at the same time, if I was coming back, I want to see some sites down here because I want to start making a place where we can call home. I need something where I can start fortifying an area up, you know, taking stock of things, food, supplies. And today was going to be that day, but driving this thing across the map, I'm just going to attract a load of attention. If it needs a battery, it's going to be a pain. So we'll leave it for now. I know exactly where it is, but we are going to keep looking around. I need to do something about these 22 rounds as well. I think I'm going to switch out the weapon. This is what I got out of a recent drop. It's an RPK with a drum mag. I think I actually applied one to it as well. Yeah, I did. I'm not 100% if we actually have ammunition in it. I imagine that because we got out of a drop that it does, but I guess we should probably check that. I'm just put the rifle back in here so I don't lose it. It's got some stuff on it too. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Wait, let me just make sure we get in the sunlight so we can see everything that this thing has. Reload her up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. It does have ammunition in it, too. All right. What do we actually have inside of it? Does it give us a count? 75. Okay. That should be plenty if we get into a little bit of trouble. All right. Let's keep it moving, then. There we go. That's what I was worried about. Those things explode. They've got like C4 strapped to their chest. And it's just altogether a bad time. Let's get rid of that last one. I could use that little station there to fuel up. So it was worth it. We got a little bit of fuel left in these. Yeah, I can't imagine anybody's going to be using this one. So should be pretty well stocked. All right, let's fill this up. And fuel. <laughs> The little things, right?
Okay, we have arrived. This is the location that I wanted to take a look at. There's something up there on that hill. God, this area is so nice to look out on. But my God, that is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And that water is going to be absolutely freezing. I've also realized something while I was on the drive down here. I'm wearing a backpack and I've not really got any space in the back of the vehicle. So it would mean me having to leave something here. And we all know what happened last time I did that. So I don't think it's worth doing, especially seeing as though there's only one building over there. I mean, it looks like it. And, and a hunting stand. I don't really think it's worth doing that. Good job that we visited it, though, because maybe if in the future we can make a boat or get across there without having to swim and worry about these cold conditions, then I'll come back to this location. There's also like a town there as well. Yeah, there it is. And there's something on the hill there. What is this area? That's a fairly decent spot. It might be worth me just skimming through that. Yeah, I'm going to make my way through this. Come across the dam. Take a look over there, and then we're going to head into the big city, but I'm glad we did take a look, because <laughs> I know for sure that I'm not swimming across that. It's just not worth it. Not worth taking the risk. Okay, I was just taking a second to get rid of a few of the stragglers that were just on the outside. I think the rest of them are all inside. Let's just be careful. We got the RPK. Oh, there's one. So weird when you just see something running along like that, when you haven't seen anybody for so long. Is that a police station over there? Another one. Let's take a knee. Like I was saying, this thing is suppressed, but <laughs> it's by no means quiet. There you are. Oh, that was nice. Just to be able to unload on these things. One in there too. Well, I just found some lockers. I kind of want to play around with how to lockpick stuff. So let's go and grab what we need from the car. I think I've got like one of the uh, advanced lockpicks or one lockpick. And I've got a couple of screwdrivers. So I'm just going to grab those. And we'll play around with it a little bit and see what we can make happen. So where is it? We got this one here, the advanced lockpick. I should put my uh, Santa's hat on too. Another lockpick. I'll keep hold of that. Can't quite remember where I found those. I think it was just in some random buildings. And we want to hold on to this and this one. That should be enough. Oh, okay. So I don't actually need them to pick these ones. So it's just the weapons ones then. I mean, we got another lockpick and some more duct tape. I was collecting these as well, but I think I'm just going to leave that. And seeing as though we've got a police station behind us, I'm absolutely going to be attempting to see what's inside of there. I thought that... Oh my god! Found a police vehicle. Wait, let me just check that. Yeah, they just open up these things straight away. Cigarettes. What else? What's this? Box of bolts. This is what I'm going to be looking for when I'm building. But I'm not holding on to it right now. I should be checking these as well, really, because if there's more screwdrivers and stuff, then it can be really useful. Let's take a look at how this one's doing. It'd be pretty badass to be rolling around in this thing. Looks fairly new on the inside, too. It's not doing so good with the battery, though. Wonder if we can make something work with that. <laughs> something about rolling around in a police car in this situation. <laughs> Seems like something you should be doing. Got another backpack, too. Come on, give us another lockpick. There we go, nice. The fuck? Oh my god, it wasn't... Please don't do it. <sighs> of all the things to worry about, I do not want to be messing with that right now. Alright, we've got plenty of lockers there. This should be a good a spot as any to be able to test how this lock picking stuff works. Mouse to move the lockpick, F to push the screwdriver. Press spacebar to start. All right, here we go. All right, got a little bit there. A little bit more. A little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. That's all it needed. All right. Got to be fast with this. 
little bit more. Last little bit. There we go. So did that waste one of the lockpicks? No, I think... Okay, so I could get uses out of it. All right, that's good to know. But did we... Did I actually waste... No, okay, I thought I wasted a screwdriver too. Right, what did that give us then? That gave us a block magazine. Did it have any ammunition in it? I don't know if it did. Got it. So what does that give us? I actually really like that they've added this because now it's nowhere near as easy to be able to... And we've just got some more <laughs> ammunition in the block magazine. It's nowhere near as easy to find stuff. This is absolutely how it should be. All right, let's keep it going then. A little bit more. A little bit less. Got it. Oh, so it does use the screwdriver. Okay, so maybe if you fail it, it damages the tool that you're using. Makes sense. I mean, if that's all we're getting from that, then... I mean, at least I'm able to put a few rounds into my Glock. Better than nothing, right? Here we go. This is the dam. Kind of expected there to be some buildings, though. What's that over there? We've got a lot of burned out cars and stuff. Upside down. Oh, shit. I think I was going fast enough to knock him on his ass. Right, we've got something there. I'm going to take a look inside that. Let me flip it around. Really narrow here as well. I might be better going on foot. Those things chasing. They are. Let me spin it around. Thing is about those things, they're, they're not too tough to handle on their own. When they're in groups, though, <laughs> you need a minigun to get them off of you because they just they box you into a corner and it's so hard to get them away Did that do it taking a little bit of damage with the car but keeping me safe all right what are we working with are these just toilets voltage boxes Yep, just a toilet. And another toilet. <laughs> nice. Well, we didn't know before, but now we do. Let's see if we can see down there. My God. If anybody gets that weird feeling in their stomach when they see heights, whether or not it's in real life or in a video game, <laughs> this is just your warning, okay? I'm giving you a heads up right now. Oh, wait, can we open this? No. Maybe if we had some explosives or something. All right, let's see what's over the top of it. Look at that view, though. Oh, my God. Let's just take this really slow. Oh, there's actually a compound down there. God, look how small the mechs look. Got one over there. And then these two. They just look like ants. I don't know if this is possible. Is there a way you can make a parachuting scum? Or a grappling hook or something? What's that there? Is that a lift? An elevator system? I'm really, really scared to get too close to the edge. Don't want to, like, glitch through it or anything. Okay, that's all snapped up. You can see there's nothing on the end of it. Let's back away from that ledge for a second. Is that where we're going to? Is that the city over there? I think it is. And I thought I would have to actually double back, but if you look over this side as well, there's like a natural line down the mountain. I mean, it <laughs> looks a little bit precarious, but I might be able to get down there. And it's worth a try because it cuts out a shit ton of travel. I really want to know what's down at the bottom of that, though. Why there's three mechs guarding this place. I'm pretty sure this is the way that I saw where that road went. Yeah, look, it doubles back on itself there. So let's just take it nice and slow. <sighs> that is one hell of a drop down there definitely won't be surviving that so let's just feather the accelerator <laughs> don't want to make those wheels spin just hoping that when this thing does double back on itself there's a clear way around 
And it's not just a case of this is designed to walk down, not bring a vehicle. Oh yeah, I can fit around there. A little bit of a tight squeeze, but there we go. We can get around that. Nothing on the other side of this. We're good. Easy does it. <laughs> you can really see the scale of that dam now. I've just had a thought as well. I hope once we get a little bit lower, those mechs don't start shooting. Otherwise, the whole idea of taking our time with the throttle, <laughs> it's going to be going out the window real quick. Oh, God, that's a tight squeeze. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through that. Let's see what we can do. Let's put the car on its side. There we go. She scratched up a little bit, but she's all right. Nope, nope. Come on. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Come on, you can do it. We can squeeze through there. There we go. Right, let me just hop out for a second. The car should be okay. I don't want to get close to those mechs. Just want to see how close we are to them. Still pretty far away, but... <laughs> I'm proud of us so far. Is that the way we go? Yeah, I think we just keep going down that way and then just follow it around. <laughs> oh my god. That's where we were. Just a second ago. We've made our way down the side of the mountain. Let's get back inside. Oh my god. I think we're almost out. I'm not going to be waiting around either. I'm putting my foot down at the minute we get at the bottom of this. There we go. Let's go. Oh, that's fine. You're okay. I worked on the suspension before. Let's keep it going. <laughs> that was one hell of a rush going down the side of that. All right, let's see where we are. So we follow this round. And we're pretty much on the outside of the city. So I want to take a right at the next junction and then a left. That takes us straight there. Okay, so that way should take me straight down into the main city. But I got to be honest with you guys. With how late in the day that it is right now, I don't feel confident being in a massive city. I mean, especially the look at the size of this thing. I don't feel confident being in there with God knows what else at night time i know we can find night vision but i've not found it yet so i think what i might do is comb this road see what this is yeah we're gonna go this way i'm gonna find out what's up this side if there's like a small cabin or something and just hold out there taking on some food some water and grabbing some rest i'll feel a lot more confident so i think that's what i'm gonna do for now though guys we are going to end if you are enjoying scum drop a like below subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all in the next one.